Okay, students, in this video, we are going to discuss about the climatic condition of Asia and the division of climatic region. So, first, we are going to start with the equatorial type of climate that prevails in Asia. So, generally, this type of climates are found in areas or the countries that is near to the equator. Okay, so all the countries that are near to the equator, maybe it lies up to 10 degree uh, north to 10 degrees south. So, this countries, the countries that lies in this latitude experience equatorial type of climate. So, these are the countries, Malaysia, so this is southern part of Sri Lanka, generally, then Indonesian island, Philippines island experience equatorial type of climate. So, these are the major countries that experience uh, the equatorial type of climate. Now, we are going to discuss about the characteristics of equatorial type of climate. Okay, so characteristics of equatorial type of climate. First, we'll start with the first point that is the climate is uniformly hot and wet throughout the year. So, as this particular region experiences maximum insulation, the heat of the sun is direct over this region. Therefore, this region experiences a uniform heat as well as it re remains hot as well as wet throughout the year. It receives maximum rainfall in this region. Now moving on to the next point that is the temperature varies between 28 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. So it never falls below 28 degrees Celsius. So this is the average temperature of you know uh, the equatorial region. Okay. So <clears throat> rainfall occurs throughout the year as I already mentioned in the first point it receives maximum rainfall every day especially. So rainfall occurs throughout the year. And moving on to the next point, that is the annual range of temperature is very low. Now, annual range of temperature means the difference in the uh, temperature uh, yearly. You can see the summer temperature and the uh, winter temperature. So, the yearly temperature difference is very low in this region because or this particular area, area do not experience any season. So, the range of temperature is very low. You can also see here that uh, the range is 28 to 30 degree means the range is only 2 degree. That is difference of only 2 degree. That means the annual range of temperature is also very less in these areas. Okay. Now, moving on to the next point that is rainfall is of the conventional type of type and occurs almost daily 4 o'clock that is around 4 o'clock that is this is why it, the rainfall that occurs in the equatorial regions are also termed as 4 o'clock rainfall. Now what is conventional type of rainfall? This type of rainfall occurs in those areas which receive maximum insulation. So direct heat results into the, the evaporations and sudden evaporation makes huge uh, cumulonimbus cloud. Okay. So, say for example, this is the surface of the earth. So, if the surface of the earth is heated, okay, so majority along, especially along the water bodies, this surface get heated up and converts into the water vapor. And uh, sudden uh, rise in heat will uh, increase the rate of evaporation and forms a huge cumulonimbus cloud along these areas and gives maximum precipitation. So this type of you know type of uh, uh, rainfall is known as conventional type of rainfall. So conventional type of rainfalls basically occurs in the equatorial region as well as in the subtropical region. <coughs> Sorry, tropical region, not subtropical, tropical region. So moving on to the next point, that is the natural vegetation found in the tropical region. So we have discussed about the climatic conditions and its characteristics. Now b based on the climatic condition and the amount of rainfall and the supply of insulation, the natural vegetation is governed or based on that there is a kind of natural vegetation. So as this area receives maximum insulation, therefore the amount of vegetation will be higher or the species of vegetation will be uh, more. Now we will see one by one. So that that is due to sufficient heat and rainfall, the uh, vegetation grows abundantly here. So there is no scarcity of vegetation. So different kinds of vegetation can be seen here. In the second point, dense and impenetrable forest called equatorial rainforest are found here. So 
The forest found in the equatorial regions are also known as equatorial rainforest. They are also known as evergreen type of forest. Okay, so if it is it is impenetrable forest means it is very dense. Okay, there are number of undergrowth like climbers and creepers creepers in the base of this uh, forest. Now trees do not shed their leaves at any particular season. So as this re area receives rainfall throughout the year, so the tree do not shed their leaves. So th therefore, they looks evergreen. Okay. Now this forest are dense with broad leaves. So these are some of the characteristics of this forest. So it's very important to note the forest do not shed their leaves in any season. First one, okay. This forest are impen impenetrable forest. Okay, there are okay. Then the trees have broad leaves. Okay, they are dense and broad leaves. And the trees found in uh, equatorial forests are very tall and they are in hard they are hardwood in nature and some of the species found in this uh, type of forest are mahogany ebony rose rosewood cinchona and rubber these are some of the species of the trees that are found in this region now moving on to the next slide that is you can see uh, some of the species of the trees that I have collected in the form of uh, images. Mahogany in the right hand side, mahogany, then this is ebony tree and this is rubber tree. These are all species of uh, species of trees found in the equatorial region. Okay, moving on to the next that is what type of wildlife are found here in this type of uh, climatic conditions. So, it's so very uh, true that if there is a dense forest, there will be varieties of wildlife in this type of forest. So, we'll see one by one. Now, the dense equatorial forests are inhabited by tigers, monkeys, sloth, rhinoceros, elephants, wild boar, deer and many colorful birds, uh, birds and insects are found in this type of forest. Okay. <coughs> now, a variety varieties of sn snakes crocodiles lizards are also found in especially in the swampy flows the areas which are you know uh, swampy those areas are filled with snakes crocodiles lizards etc so uh, as i already told you this area this the forest is more dense many um, uh, varieties of trees uh, are found varieties of species of trees are found here so therefore this um, uh, this food supplied by this forest is also more so accordingly the animal living in this type of forest is also more or you can say there are varieties of animals living in this type of forest okay you can see these are some of the uh, images of the uh, animals living in the equatorial type of forest wild boar and sloth are the common species found here okay moving on to the next slide that is <coughs> a tropical monsoon type of climate found in asia so tropical monsoon type of climate sounds little uh, higher to the you know uh, to the higher latitude compared to the equatorial type of forest or equatorial type of climate so the countries that experience tropical monsoon type of climates are especially India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, the northern part of Sri Lanka, Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Philippines and southern part of China experience uh, tropical type of climate. So important to note India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. Philippines and southern part of China experience tropical type of climate okay now moving on to the next point that is what are the characteristics of tropical type of climate <clears throat> okay so it has wet summer and cool dry winter okay so generally this is the important characteristics of tropical type of climate that is the summers are wet and winters are cool and dry so winter does not receive rainfall so climate is influenced by uh, basically by the monsoon wind so monsoon wind is playing a very important role in changing the climatic condition of the tropical region that blows from the sea during the summer and from the land during the winter so as it is blowing from the sea 
towards the land so it gives uh, maximum precipitation during the summer and during the winter due to iterating monsoon that is wind blowing from the land okay so as it is blowing from the land so the amount of moisture in the air is very less so it does not give rainfall during the winter season but there are some coastal areas and the windward side that receives <coughs> rainfall uh, uh, especially the leeward side remains uh, uh, less affected by rainfall means the, the leeward side does not receive uh, rainfall or it receives very less rainfall. So the areas that receive heavy rainfall due to monsoon winds are the coastal areas and the windward sides. Okay. Okay. So moving on to the next slide that is <clears throat> what type of uh, natural vegetation is found in this climatic condition or in this tropical monsoon type of climate. So tropical deciduous forest or monsoon forest grows here. So in tropical monsoon type of forest, uh, in tropical monsoon type of vegetation, tropical deciduous type of forest or it is also known as monsoon forest is found here. So this is the name of a vegetation. So <clears throat> our vegetation is thick where rainfall is well distributed. That means in this type of climatic condition, the vegetations will be more denser wherever the amount of rainfall is more. So trees are mainly deciduous in nature. So deciduous means that uh, those trees that shades their uh, leaves during the dry season. Okay. So trees are hardwood in nature and have broad leaves, especially trees like sal, tick, sal, deodar, sesame, bamboo sandalwood are the common species that are found in the tropical deciduous type of forest okay so moving on to the next slide that is so especially in the drier part or in the drier areas that receives less rainfall the forest becomes less dense and dense and scattered okay so as i already told you that the areas that has well distributed rainfall have dense forest but the areas that is uh, that receive less rainfall uh, that there the forest becomes less dense and the forests are scattered. Now, especially uh, the other varieties of trees are also found or other varieties of vegetations are also found in this area that is acacia is also found here, tall grasses are found, serps are found, these are common species. Now, most of the forest have been cleared for cultivation and settlement. So, in the tropical region, the forest has been cleared basically for the cultivation and for the purpose of making settlements or houses. Now, apart from this, along the coastal areas uh, or along the swampy regions or deltaic areas, uh, mangroves forests are found. Mangroves are the forest that are generally found in deltaic region, the place where the fresh water and the brackish water uh, mix or the salt water or the ocean uh, meets in this area the whatever the forest are found this forest is known as mangroves type of forest now you can see in this images this special varieties of trees found in tropical region that is uh, the sal that is stick sal mangroves and acacia are some of the species of trees that are found in tropical forest tropical uh, climate conditions okay uh, this is about the wild animals found in this type of forest <clears throat> okay that wildlife especially elephants rhinoceros tigers monkey deers asiatic lion and uh, different kinds of snakes are also found here okay so these are the common species found in this uh, type of vegetation in this type of uh, climatic condition now moving on to the next point that is tropical or hot desert type of climate now tropical or hot desert type of climate especially lies in the western part uh, of uh, the asia so you'll see such type of climates are found in the you know central these are central and south west southwestern asia especially the hot desert of arabia experience this type of climate iran and in the third desert of India and Pakistan are some of the places that experience uh, tropical hot desert type of climate. Okay. Now moving on to the next one that is characteristics of tropical or hot desert climate. They are they receive very scanty rainfall that is less than 25 centimeter annually. Okay. Now 
you know the summers are very hot and winters are very cold and the range of the daily range of temperature is very high it means during the day time temperature becomes very high it may reach up to 40 degree celsius and during the night time it may drops up to 0 degree celsius so there is a very high difference in the temperature during the the day and the night so this is what we call the daily range of temperature or uh, it is very high in the desert areas especially tropical deserts okay moving on to the next point that is natural vegetation found in this type of forest as in this type of climatic conditions scarcity of moisture will be there so due to a scarcity of moisture tropical desert vegetation is very less so you will not see the tall trees or uh, dense forest in this type of uh, region because there is a scarcity of rainfall so vegetations are in the form of thorny bushes clumps or dry grasses and even acacia are also found here okay so deserts vegetation is also known as xerophytes or xerophytic plants xerophyte mean that can grow in less rainfall in desert areas okay now here plants in desert have long roots these are some of the characteristics of the uh, the species of trees or the species plants found in these areas so plants have long roots okay spiny leaves waxy stems to collect moisture from the ground okay now plants have a natural adaptation to the harsh climatic conditions and cultivation of wheat is wheat is done in the oases and the rivers or the areas where there is small streams so in those areas cultivation is done that is particularly of the wheat cultivation is done okay so these are some of the characteristics of you know uh, tropical desert type of climate you can see the species of trees found in this type of forest in this type of uh, climatic condition okay now we'll discuss the wildlife types of wildlife found in the tropical hot desert type of climate so animal that can tolerate dry climatic conditions are found here especially so animal like camels horse mules gazelles desert fox desert rats lizard and scorpion are the animals that are found in this area and all these animals are adapted to this climatic conditions the important among them is camel so camel can uh, withstand with this climatic conditions so mostly in the uh, tropical desert you can see camels everywhere these are some of the uh, images desert fox and mules now moving on to the next slide that is warm temperate coast or china type of climate so warm temperate east coast or china type of climate is just similar to the monsoon type of climate or the tropical uh, uh, monsoon type of climate this region experiences such type of climate uh, uh, this region experiences such type of climates are or the region experiencing such type of climates are northern central and central pa uh, eastern part of china as well as japan and korea experience this type of climate okay now apart from this uh, the summers characteristics of this type of climate can be summers are warm and winters are cold okay the climate is similar to monsoon type with colder winters so there is a slight difference between these two uh, in case of uh, monsoon type of climate the summers are very hot and winters are cool and uh, summer and in case of uh, uh, china type of climate summers are warm but winters are very cold or colder winter compared to the monsoon type of climate so these are some of the difference this also experience rainfall okay due to monsoon wind during the summer season and in in uh, winter season it experience uh, snowfall but in tropical monsoon type of climate it does not experience uh, snowfall during winter only in the higher part or the higher elevation region in uh, experience uh, so snowfall okay so next we'll see that is <coughs> natural vegetation found in china type of climate so it should be very common to that equatorial type of forest uh, it should be very common to the tropical uh, or monsoon type of forest 
okay so this type of climate supports rich vegetation because it receives rainfall uh, sufficient rainfall during the summer so it has mixed type of forest with evergreen as well as deciduous trees are common here so, so just similar to that uh, monsoon type vegetation found in monsoon type species like oak camellia magnolia chestnut camphor beech fir are some of the common species found in this type of climatic conditions okay these are the important species found in the china type of climate now commonly especially this pine and spurs are found in the hilly areas or in the mountainous slopes in china type of climate the species like uh, pine and spurs are found in the hilly areas or the hilly slopes or in the mountainous slopes and bamboos and mulberries are the shrubs that grows in this <coughs> climatic conditions so these are the common uh, you know vegetation found in china type of climate now moving on to the next one that is wildlife now what type of wildlife are found here especially giant panda monkey deer fox wolves bear and varieties of birds as well as parrots peacock and pheasants are common here okay we'll see some of the uh, uh the next topic that is temperate or mid latitude type of climate now temperate or mid latitude type of climates are basically found in the you know higher plateau regions especially the gobi desert plateau of tibet experience this type of climate temperate or mid latitude desert type of climate okay it has some characteristics like summers are hot summers are hot and winters are very cold with temperature below freezing point so this is very important to note so here in case of temperate or mid latitude desert type of climate summers are very hot winters are very cold with freezing temperature but in case of tropical desert wind summers are very hot winters are cold uh, very uh, winters are cool does not fall below 0 degree celsius but in case of this winters are very cold it will fall below zero the point the it will fall below, below freezing point now very little rainfall occurs here in uh, temperate desert and annual range of temperature is also uh, the annual range of temperature is also very high summers as the summers are very hot winters are very cold so difference of temperature is very high okay so we'll see uh, the vegetations found in this you can see uh, in the temperate latitude or a temperate or mid latitude desert type forest now we'll see the natural vegetations one by one so due to scarcity of rainfall the cold deserts are mostly barren with scattered tuft of short grasses and thorny bushes can be seen here so the mostly these short grasses and thorny bushes are seen here due to the scarcity of rainfall now vegetations have needle shaped leaves uh, especially the leaves of this vegetations are very uh, small or needle shaped due to uh, this is due to uh, the uh, due to to due to you know uh, to stop the rate of evapotranspiration okay now coming to next that is wildlife what type of wildlife are found here so due to harsh climatic condition few animals can survive here so these animals have adapted themselves in such conditions okay they are commonly lizards insects and rats are found here so yaks are generally domesticated in the plateau regions of tibet okay so especially you will not see the uh, big animals especially lizards insect and rats can be seen here and plateaus in the plateau region of tibet yaks can be uh, domesticated 